Hello coin collectors out there and welcome to the Big D Coins channel. Uh, here we have some Euro cent coins. Uh, specifically, we have the 10, the 20, and the 50 cent coins. Actually, these are just the 10 and the 20. And then the 50 cent coin didn't fit onto my uh, little placemat. So those are right there. We'll get into them a little bit later. But let's talk about these coins right here. So the most notable feature you'll see uh, when looking at these coins, if you're used to looking at American coins, is the color and the metal content. So these coins are made out of Nordic gold, which actually isn't anything that's like close to real gold, but it's got a color that's similar to gold. It's a brass alloy uh, that's composed of 89% copper, 5% alumi aluminum, and 1% zinc. And by adding that uh, aluminum, it gives it kind of the golden shine to it. Now, you're probably not used to seeing this uh, metal content outside of coins, outside of euros, because it's very difficult to make in the possibility, uh, the processability of the alloy uh, does not work well for industrial applications. So as far as the 10 euro cent coin goes, there are a lot of different designs. Uh, there are 8.1 billion, excuse me, 8.1 billion of these made. For the euro, euro, 20 euro cent, there are 6.2 billion made. In the 50 euro cent, there are 5.5 billion made. The uh, 10 euro cent has a weight of 4.1 grams. The 20 euro cent, 5.7 grams. And the 50 euro sent a hefty 7.8 grams. So let's talk a little bit about the images themselves. So up top we have my uh, 10 euro cent coins. These ones are slightly smaller. And we have Germany on the left right there. And we have Spain on the right right here. So uh, let's start with Germany, why don't we? Uh, Germany, uh, this image is the Brandenburg Gate, a symbol of division in Germany, and then its subsequent unification. So as you can see on the image right here, uh, what they're kind of trying to stress right there is the open side of the gate kind of to show uh, Germany's uh, open ability to uh, allow people in and be part of the Euro zone. So the next image that you see right here, this one is of uh, Spain. So let me tell you a little bit about this image. Uh, this image is Miguel de Sertavas, uh, the father of Spanish literature, and it's shown on the coin reflecting the universality of the man and his work. So he was uh, apparently quite the man for the universe. Um, I'm not really sure too much else about him, so we won't dwell on that one right here. And this is the last of my 10 euro cent coins. And this one right here is Netherlands. Uh, so on the image for Netherlands is Queen Beatrix. Uh, she is shown in profile in the words Beatrix. Queen of the Netherlands is written around the circumference of the coin. So we got some cool representations from three euro countries right there for the 10 euro cent coin. On to the 20 euro cent coin. Uh, there's the same image for Germany of the Brandenburg Gate, symbolizing its uh, open this to uh, the rest of the European Union. Uh, this one right here we haven't seen yet. And this one is France. That RF stands for uh, Republic of France. And the theme of this coin is, is the Sawyer. Uh, it's a constant theme in the history of uh, the French franc. Uh, so they took their old coin, the franc, and they brought that kind of similar theme onto the Euro coin here. And this is a modern timeliness uh, graphic which represents France, which stays true to itself whilst integrating into Europe. So the Sawyer there is integrating herself into Europe. As you can see, that coin is dated 1999. These coins started to come out in 2002, but some of them they backdated to 1999. 
because uh, that's when the virtual currency for the euro started. But the actual production of these didn't start until uh, 2002. So this next one right here is a new one as well. We haven't seen this one yet on the video. This is from the country of Belgium. It depicts uh, King Albert II and a monogram, a capital A underneath a crown among the 12 stars symbolizing Europe. The year of issue is part of the design along with the year the coin was struck. Uh, so it seems like there's a lot going on around the outside of the coin, but on the center you just see a King Albert II. Not sure of his significance, but it must have been significant enough to get himself on a coin. So this one right here, you would probably not guess this one uh, by just looking at the image. This coin is from Italy, uh, and this coin portrays a sculpture, uh, the unique forms of continuity in space, 1913, by Umberto Passioni, a leader in the Italian Futurist School. Sounds like something Elon Musk would be interested in. Uh, it is one of the number of sculptures on a similar theme. Uh, the one shown here is probably the exhibited in the Museum of Modern Art in New York. A cool museum. Uh, so if you wanted to see that sculpture in real life, head on down to New York City. So rounding out the other 20 euro cent coins I've got. Uh, this is Netherlands, which we covered in the 10 euro cent coin video. And this one right here is Spain, which we also covered in the 10 euro cent video. Uh, this one right here is dated 2000. The, uh, the other one that I looked at was dated 1999. So kind of going off of my little placeholder there, the background image, we have uh, the 50 euro cent coin the from Germany, France, Spain, and Netherlands. So why don't I grab one of those uh, and kind of show you it. So this is what the 50 euro cent coin looks like in comparison to the 20 euro cent coin. As you can see, it's slightly bigger, uh, which I stated earlier. Uh, it has a weight of 7.8 grams compared to the 20 euro cent coin, which weighs just 5.74 grams. When we flip it over, we see uh, the face value of the coin. 50 euro cents and then we can flip this over right here and see how they differ and the answer is not too much at all the same map of Europe as well as the face value of the coin so I'll sign off at this point I'll remind you if you're into coin collecting please do like comment subscribe uh, I've got a lot of videos going up on the channel, so there's probably something out there that you'll find enjoyable and you can check out and watch. All right, signing off for Big D Coins. Enjoy your day.